Hello, I'm the Gaming Beaver, and this is Jurassic Park Chaos Island The Lost World, or uh, Chaos Island The Lost World Jurassic Park, or just, it, it's one of those. Uh, and again, it's another game that I had as a kid. Uh, let me just leave you with the movie before I start my intro. Stepped out. <laughs> too late for that old boy. I've got too much invested in this mission. So how's the team holding up? Well, Eddie's too nervous and uh, Nick's too confident. I'm not sure which is worse. Great, spend it. Listen, Ian. We're, we're having a bit of uh, trouble reaching Sarah on the island. See, John, it's starting already. Nonsense. Unpredictability. You overreact. Total chaos. Ian. She's fine. Just collect the specimens, document your observations. And uh, stay off the menu? Get the DNA serum. Think of it, Ian. It's possible something really has survived. Yeah, well, let's hope it ends up being us. Don't worry. This time I've taken every precaution. Spared no expense, you know? <laughs> what could go wrong? And there you have it! <laughs> oh, what to say about this game? Well, it came out in 1997. I originally did download it. I did have it on disc, but I played it on my old Windows 95, which is what this game's designed for. And that computer was chucked out about 10 years ago, maybe more. And I lost the disc. I think I had the disc already inside that computer, and that went. So I downloaded it on the internet. And I, it was glitchy because this game's a bit odd. It's not supposed to work on modern computers. So I re-bought it on eBay for about $20, if that. I think you can get it for cheaper. And so I'm playing it on the disc. That's why sometimes it might lag because it's loading the disc itself. But uh, <laughs> we've got easy, medium, and hard. Now, this game can kick your ass in certain points. So uh, we're going to go through the easy... We're gonna have fun, we're gonna have some crazy, crazy fun fun with this thing. Mm. Then time for another little video! Oh, I love this game so much. I spent hours playing this. Well, that's a nice screensaver, Eddie. Now, can you stop fooling around? Will you be patient? Just watch. I've tied this into the satellite global positioning sensor. Give it a second. What am I looking at? That's me, that's you. I'm the one waving my arms. With the help of this little number, we'll be able to track each other, tap into the internet, talk to Hammond. And hopefully get off this island in one piece. Hey, that's custom. I can also play back any video I've shot, Doc. I I'm thrilled. Now, can we set up base camp and find Sarah? Wow. I thought you said there were no uh, dinosaurs left around here. Life will find a way. Again, this this whole game will just... It's got the voice actors. You've got Jeff Goldblum in there. Uh... Uh, Richard Attenborough, rest in peace. Uh, it's just such a shame. Every time I hear his voice, I'm like, he's dead now. God damn it. Anyway, uh, yeah, this this game's a complete homage to the, the movie. I think it came out a little bit after. It's supposed to coincide with the movie. We're going to listen to Ian's notes because these are just the best. The helicopter deposited us on the all-too-familiar landing pad near the deceptively peaceful waterfall. Deja vu. Welcome back to Jurassic Park. The pilot was in such a hurry to get off the island that he barely touched down. Not that I really blame him. First thing we should do is set up a camp for shelter and explore the area. Thanks to Eddie, we'll be able to visually keep track of each other on our PDA computers through a satellite link up. No sign of Sarah yet. We gotta find her as soon as possible as I'm worried about her safety. Uh, John Hammond assured me there would be no dinosaurs left here, but I, I noticed a very live Parasaurolophus roaming nearby. As I've always said, life will find a way. I hate being right all the time. And there you go! It goes on for minutes! Absolutely minutes! But you'll notice in the intro, um, Nick, 
uh, or Vince Vaughn said, uh, hey, that's custom. And that's what he says in the movie. You'll notice there's loads of movie quotes and self-referencing in this game. Uh, it's also an RTS, a real-time strategy, I think I'm getting that right. So it's it's an odd beast of a game, it really is. So, here we go, we've got our stats. Now choose the explorers that will join your adventure by clicking on their photographs. You can also right-click on them, I think. Is it, is it, is it shift-click? Is it double click? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. It's double click. And then also, if you, it, I don't think it tells you this. You got your stats, but if you click on the photo, there are many ways to describe Dr. Ian Malcolm. Skeptic, uh, radical, eccentric, but it's because of his flawless logic and sharp leadership skills that I chose this. That I chose this. That I chose this. <laughs> Brilliant mathematician for this <laughs> He chose this brilliant! His uh, injuries from the unfortunate incident on Isla Nobla have slowed his step a wee bit, but <laughs> not his wit. I would not have attempted this venture without him. And there you go. He's not as fast as the other ones. Uh, oh god, here we go. Here's the glitches that sometimes happen when you... Because uh, it, it, the graphics card is different, so... <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes get these like really weird things happening. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this game. Okay, I'm gonna pick Eddie because Eddie's Eddie's funny. Uh, uh, most of the graphics should be fine. It's just it's not really meant to play. Oh, well, I picked I picked Vince as well. Didn't I die in the in the movie? I died. You did. You did, Eddie. All right, I You're guess. alive again. <laughs> go find Sarah. There you go. I know where she is. There she okay, is. Okay. What took you so long? Well, Eddie, you go, you go okay, attack okay. that that thing, and, and we'll make a base camp. There we go. And this game used to run really slow on on my uh, old PC. Like it used to be one frame right every half a second, so it was it was very slow. But I loved it all the same. Did you kill it? Yes. You murderer! Okay, How dare okay. you? Okay, okay. How you doing? Like Vince gets his own camera. Out. Oh, that little siren means the base camp's being attacked, apparently. Right. Shoot it! Shoot the compies! Okay, I, okay, right. don't. Oh, I was gonna say don't kill them, because th they're not really doing anything, but... Right. <laughs> Look at him, he's on a mission to kill this Paris Rollers. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, um... Let's get some, get some supplies. Eddie here. Vince, you just can... Just No sweat. Did he just say Eddie here? There you go. Just kidding. Aw, murderer! Stop killing my favorite dinosaur! Okay. You got Nick. You got Nick. Eddie here. Just kidding. Done you deal. You son of a bee! Done deal. Yeah, they have they have some amazing uh, audio audio no files sweat. in this game. <laughs> but I love this. I absolutely love this game. Right oh no! Uh, so our base camp's been hurt by a tiny bit. Yeah, base camp you can you can buy my favorite That's types of guys base to get camp. with these ones. <laughs> oh no! It seems like every time I click it, it'll go glitchy if I go inside. But again, if you click uh, build, you get all these different things. Um, I think these, like tool shed and incubator and stuff, you can unlock if you upgrade your base camp. And I'm sure that we're gonna get that far. What's a scoop? Uh, a tent costs three, so if we get there two tents, go. there we go, we're done! And that That's is the first mission. You can heal people by putting them in the you tent. Did it. And there you go, you can get a high score, I think. You, you can recruit points. I, I, I don't even know. Uh, we're not gonna save it because, I mean, that was really quick. <laughs> On to the next one. Hammond sent us these files. The theory is that we can control any dinosaurs that we hatch using the special DNA serum developed here. Eh, yeah, that's some theory. Very cool. Like radio-controlled cars with teeth. <sighs> I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Uh, l listen, Sarah, I came across some fresh tracks this morning. Hey, Hammond's coming online. Hello there. I see you found one another. Hello, John. We were just going over the info on the serum. Excellent, excellent. But once you find it, get to the pier on the far side of the island. And from there, the freighter will take you to Isla Sauna. Good luck, Hammond, over and out. 
Okay, let's get moving. Sir, the tracks I found were human. We're not alone on this island. Again, we have the classic, we're not alone on this island. Uh, you'll notice at the start, in Ian's notes, he went, we landed on the all too familiar landing pad. So, I was going to say, he hasn't been here before, but apparently he has. Um, but maybe they're on Isla Nublar? I think maybe they're on Isla Nublar right now and they're about to take the freighter over to Isla Sonne, but we'll find out. Let's listen to Ian's notes. According to Hammond, the scientists at InGen were developing a secret DNA serum by which they could actually control the dinosaurs they hatched. The formula was left behind when the park was destroyed. I remain skeptical, but Sarah can't wait to find the serum and test it out on eggs that we find here and uh, at Site B. Uh, at Site B. Uh, <laughs> At site B. <laughs> at site B. Oh dear. At site B. Oh god, it's still going. The plan is to get to the pier there on the far go. side of the island where Hammond's freighter will take us to Isla Sorna, an island supposedly just teeming with dinosaurs. Personally, I'm less than thrilled about having another close encounter with a T Rex. Uh, one more thing. I discovered some fresh tracks. Human tracks. We're not the only ones here. Yeah, you're not. So the, the good thing about this game was you you, you could um, help you on your mission. control the dinosaurs that you made, which was awesome. The, the thing that kind of sucks with this game, though, I will say, you only get like a certain amount of points, and then you can spend them on the characters. And throughout the game, you can find power-ups. But if you power up a certain character, then they cost more. So if you were to power up just one, then he would be almost. You know, you just couldn't get them. You just really couldn't. We're gonna go for uh, these guys. I love these guys. Uh, what's the what's the like audio for this? Uh, the it kind of glitches, and that's because it's it's like the CD. It doesn't read, and then when you do something quite demanding, it'll start reading the CD, and then the audio glitches. A research assistant is an absolute necessity for a successful expedition. Not only is he ready for any task that might be assigned to him, but he also has a, an uncanny knack for being in more than one place at a time. He may not possess a great deal of endurance, but he more than endurance, but he more than makes up for it with his eagerness and devotion. There you go, see? A little, little bit of a glitch when the CD try, and then it does this. So that's awesome, but that'll be fixed once we get to the uh, next screen. Oh, I love this game. Okay, okay. Uh, to cancel out of build days, just click the right mouse. That, that's fine. So look, the classic Jurassic Park. So this is Isla Nublar. Sure. This is. Uh, this is where we need to go, the top, bottom right. Um, sure. We'll, we'll go down this way. I'm pretty sure there's a hunter here. I remember sure. there being a hunter. And he's near the bottom. We can't get to him sure. until we repair the bridge. Now, you, you sometimes you get lucky and you see him just walking up here. Uh, oh god, watch out! Copies! Kill him! Kill them all! Okay, they, they are here really, goes. really Okey slow. Dokey. So we're gonna make our here base goes. camp here. We're just like on the bridge. Pardon? Wait, oh, yeah, that? It. yeah, there Pardon? we go. Now we can collect the. Uh, the... Oh, we can collect sure. the eggs, that's right. There's, there's a certain amount of eggs, I think. <laughs> Is there a nesting box up here, if I remember right? Of course I remember right. I'm not. Is there? Here goes. Yeah, there it is. You should do it. Sure. Probably my favorite Okey favorite part dokey. of. The oh, there he is! There he is! Little hunter there. Little hunter. I can't. Oh, I can't click on him. I can't get a little Pardon? little audio log coming up from. Sure. There should be Hello supplies there, down dokey. here. Should be. Whenever there's like this weird, I don't know what this is. It's like a little sure. wall. Pardon? Uh, dokey. Then that's when there's usually some supplies or something on it. So that we're gonna get the it. supplies, then we can repair the bridge, that do it. kill the hunter. But first, we did get an egg. So this this was my favorite uh, display. I love this because you you, you get to make dinosaurs, of course. Um, so we're gonna make my favorite my favorite dinosaur, the Parasaurolophus. So you can get wild dinosaurs, which have white collars. Your dinosaurs will have blue collars. And do um, it. the hunters will have red collars, respectively. Now, if your parasaur office or herbivore sort of runs out of health, you can just eat trees, which is great. I love that. 
And then if if you have made something, you can double click on it and give the CD a little bit of time to get read. And I think this is where they say Parasaurolophus instead of Parasaurolophus. And I was really I was I was struggling because each each dinosaur is said by a different uh, person, a different voice actor like Jeff Goldblum. So I'm pretty sure this is either Kelly or Sarah. What do you think? Even though the Parasaurolophus Kelly, is over 30 feet tall, you don't have to be too scared of them because they're vegetors, you know, plant eaters. Most people just call them duckbills because their mouth is sort of shaped like a duck's. And get this, they make this funny sound, sort of like a bassoon, by blowing air through the crest on their heads. Sarah says that's how they attract their mates. Weird. Just, yeah, that get cool with the times. Weird. But again, there was a... Uh... Oh, there was another one there. Uh, oh, what Even was it? though the Hold Parasaurolophus on. is over 30 it's from feet Jurassic tall, Park. you don't have to be too scared of them. Veggisaurs, that's right, she says. They're Veggisaurs, you know, plant eaters. And that's from Jurassic Park, I remember that. Parasaurolophus, pick up the supplies! Damn, damn, you can't pick up the supplies. We're gonna get Come one of our there. nerdy guys to go pick it up. Here oh, what? He's being attacked by a wild one? Eee! Is that because he's different? That's not cool. That is not cool. He's been bullied already. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get this guy to repair the bridge. There you go. Sure. Repair the bridge! And apparently that's how you repair a bridge. You just point a stick at it and a bit like Harry Potter you go... You <laughs> do a spell. Pardon? So we're gonna go We're gonna go straight across and we're gonna kill that hunter and see if there's anything else we can get before completing this level. I'll probably do a few levels each episode. And I hope you enjoyed Jurassic Park Month. Leave a comment tell me what your favorite Jurassic Park game Here is. Because I am curious. I hope I cover it. Kill! Kill him! No, don't let the parasaur all of us run in first! You'll get shot! No! He's on yellow health! Get to him! Oh yeah, blood everywhere, and he is dead. So my parasaur is on quite low health. But he's on yellow. Oh god, there's another one! Kill him! <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> so here we go. He's yeah, fully he healed oh, now. Uh, just quickly scout. Pardon? I'm pretty sure there's only these. Oh no, there is some more supplies. Okie dokie. If you, I think if you double click oh, a certain. Oh no, no, we just get that. So you sure. get an egg. Oh god, you see that? So when I click on things, it goes really glitchy. So it says we have two eggs there. Uh, oh there. And you can collect that egg. Hello there. And these will probably oh, just be Parasaurolophus eggs. The uh, Parasaurolophus can just go explore. Oh god. It's happening. The weird graphics glitch is happening. Oh, oh there's one supply of that. So should we, should we get off this and hopefully fix it? Uh, oh, look at that. We can get a whole herd of Parasaurolophus going. And we'll pick off the native indigenous... Uh, Hey! Hey! Oh, they just attacked! Okay. The base! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, there you go. There's one. Get another one. You can't do more than uh, one at a time, unfortunately. Unless you have... You can make them. Hello there! I don't know if we've unlocked it yet. Oh, we have! We can, we can make our own. Pardon? Uh, the fire, fire barriers get rid of uh, dinosaurs. They kind of keep them away. That should do it. Oh, did, did you get something? Uh, and there we go, number one. Oh, you've, I think if you play it too long, uh, the audio sort of gets lost. And apparently that's the only thing that this game got knocked for, was its repetitive audio. Uh, well, I don't understand why, because my audio has stopped working completely. So let's let's send them all. But I think Parasaurolophus are pretty quick, actually. They're not too bad. There you go. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Kill the locals! Kill them! It's like gang wars here. Oh, look at him go, they've, they've locked him in. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Uh, we'll send that one to kill that one. That one to kill that one. Uh, that, no, 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 the guy is moving too fast, I can't lock onto him, there you go. I've set them all off to attack at their individual ones. So uh, we're gonna leave while, while they're killing them. And this is our, this is our land now. He can kill a compi. Go kill the compi. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, nicely done. I'm impressed.
Good, you should be, because we've wiped out all of the dinosaurs. That's brilliant. 